To your weekly UAS news update, we have three stories for you this week. The first one is Aloft integrates RID, remote ID, into their fleet management. Phoenix Air gets nationwide BV loss approval. And then last up, we have an AI system that is faster at FPV racing than professional FPV pilots. Let's get to it. The first story this week is Aloft, who is updating their fleet management software to show remote ID compliance. Uh, this is going to integrate into your existing fleet to manage where your aircraft are and then are not compliant. So this is a good listing to find out if you're going to be compliant for September of uh, 16. That's coming right around the corner. All right, continuing forward, Aloft appears to be integrating remote ID detection as well into air control and then potentially into before you fly. Now, Aloft's uh, customer Custom reports will also allow public safety agencies to see metrics and maps that are tailored to their specific needs. Now, it's a pretty interesting update. Uh, as far as I can see, we haven't seen the update yet into the app, uh, which would make sense. They usually announce it early and then release it uh, a little bit later. So we'll keep you updated when we see more and then once we have it uh, tested. Next up this week is Phoenix Air Unmanned has gotten a nationwide BV loss for certain types of work. The requirements for that BV loss is uh, that they have to fly in class golf airspace only, uh, in sparsely populated area, uh, doing pre-planned routes uh, to avoid known obstacles, so no new obstacle in here, uh, over linear infrastructure that have a right of way, and then within 100 feet and tw 100 feet above and 20 feet left and right of the center line of the infrastructure being inspected. Uh, the waiver utilizes an aircraft that you may not have heard of. It's a Swiss Drones SVO50 V2, which is a 191 pound helicopter style UAV. Uh, this is not your uh, average Mavic here. Uh, the SVO50 also has an endurance of three hours. It's got nine foot rotor blades, nine foot rotor blades. Uh, it uses 11 kilowatt jet, jet turbine, and then it uses JetA to power it. And then it has data link, including 4G LTE, UHF, and SATCOM. Uh, interestingly, this drone only has two uh, top mounted rotors that spin without contacting each other. Pretty cool for those utility companies that have access to this. Last up, we have Swift with an AI system that controls an FPV drone and is apparently faster than professional human pilots. Uh, Swift uses entirely onboard sensors to determine where the gates are, how the drone is oriented, and then what it needs to do to go through those gates. Uh, it has sensors, including IMU, a camera, and then a gate detector. Uh, the information is then filtered and sent out to the flight controller uh, to make changes in the attitude and altitude of the racing drone. Uh, the races have consisted of three laps, with the winner completing those three laps in the fastest time. Uh, it's pretty interesting to see at this stage that AI in an onboard system is now uh, as fast as professional FPV pilots, uh, if not faster. And then the last thing, uh, we'll see you at Commercial UAV Expo next week. We're leaving on Monday. Uh, stop by booth 333 and say hello to the team. Uh, we have a bunch of giveaways and cool stuff to give out out there. And uh, also we will be in Colorado soon after that uh, for two different events. So um, yeah, we look forward to seeing you. Uh, also make sure that uh, you go watch that Remote ID video that we published about all the different modules. A lot of information in there, and that's one that a lot of you guys have been waiting for a long time. All right, that's it. I will see you next week, and we will be live on Monday from Commercial UAV Expo. So make sure you tune in at 4 p.m. Uh, Pacific, which would be 5 p.m. in uh, Denver. No, where, where are we going to be? No, we're going to be in Vegas. So <laughs> if you know how to read a real watch, <laughs> and I know that's not everyone these days. Uh, yeah. 4 p.m. Pacific and 7 p.m. Eastern. I got to do the, the math in my head what that's going to be. All right, see you then. To the right. If we hadn't changed the chair. If we hadn't changed the chair, you would have gotten complacent. We would have been in the right spot the first time. <laughs>